let me be honest, it's no secret. Asking for a major gift is scary. It's one of the biggest challenges fundraisers face. It's a personal question, which enters what is considered a taboo area of conversation, someone else's money. Even after years of experience, every donor conversation is personal and therefore different. There's always the unknown. That's scary. Recently, I attended a seminar with Nick Fellers of Four Impact. And during the session, he talked about getting donors to ask you, how can I help? It was a great reminder of the best practice of how to raise major gifts. Instead of asking for money outright, steer your conversation with donors so they inevitably ask, how can I help? This may seem like a Jedi mind trick, but imagine the possibilities if you pull it off. Fundraising wouldn't be scary if you didn't have to ask, if the donor simply offered to help, right? Don't get me wrong. By using the phrase Jedi mind trick, I certainly don't mean to imply you trick your donors in any way. It's about being so inspiring they can't resist. However, no real trickery is involved. The trick is actually on you. You will need to use your Jedi-like skills to steer the conversation in the direction of learning how your donor or supporter would feel most inspired. So they can't resist asking, how can I help? Yes, after they ask, how can I help? You still need to make the ask. It's technically not a question, but an answer. So the real question is, how can you prompt your donors to utter these four precious words? You can guide your donors to ask, how can they help when you tell them a compelling story? Talk about the specific needs of your nonprofit and your vision. Show how the future will be different for one individual in your story. Come up with a way your donor, as just one person, can make a genuine difference. Explain how your donor could feed one person, or vaccinate one child, or provide education or art. The more specific, the better. People want to feel inspired. Although you can ask for unrestricted operating money, it's not inspiring. Saving someone's life is inspiring. Would you rather give to light bulbs or to save a life? Well, so would your donor. Talk about the need. You can begin by asking a question. Did you know that 18% of the adults in our community are functionally illiterate? you may need to define what functionally illiterate means. That means they can't read or write well enough to complete a job application, read a medication label, or a note from their child's teacher. Ask some questions like, can you imagine how it would feel not to be able to read your child a bedtime story? Did you know that there were functionally illiterate people all around us, parents at your child's school. And it impacts all of us because those parents can't get a job and support their child or help with homework. The ripple effect impacts all of us. The good news is we at the Literacy Center see a different future for these adults, their families, and our community but we do need help from people like you. Then pause, wait for it, wait for it. Hopefully they will say something like, how can I help? Or what do you need? We'll get to that in just a second. But for those of you who are thinking, my nonprofit doesn't help kids or puppies, so I don't have any tearful stories. Well, a friend recently took a job as the head of an auto safety nonprofit. Not exactly the sexiest cause in the world. 
What they do is mostly legislative and honestly pretty dry. However, he can tell stories of times before seatbelts, cars without airbags, and faulty brakes, and tell stories of a single accident which could have been prevented, saving someone's life. So no matter what your cause, your job is to tell a story so compelling that the person sitting across from you gets chills. Tell the story of one individual your organization is helping. Give that person a name and a family. Fill in the details and bring the story to life in your donor's mind. Now, they've just asked, how can I help? If you've gone this far with the Jedi mind trick and you've gotten them to utter those wonderful words, you must be prepared with an answer. Start with something like, Thank you for asking, or I'm glad you asked. We're looking for people just like you to make a real difference. We have 130 people on our waiting list, waiting for a tutor and reading materials. To help one person for six months costs $1,800. Or to provide group classes for 10 people costs $12,000. Is that something you would consider? Then, wait. The most important part of this Jedi mind trick is when you do get the person to ask, how can I help? You have several answers in mind. Start with your top ask. If that's not what they had in mind, suggest something else. We're looking for tutors or reading partners or book donations. If they don't respond positively, then ask how they might like to help. Remember, you still need to ask, but it will be in the form of an answer, which makes the ask so much easier. I truly believe every great fundraiser, and especially the ones who raise major gifts, are simply matchmakers between people who want to help and important causes. People want to help, and you're simply providing them an opportunity. If your donor goes away, feeling like you twisted their arm, or talked them into doing something they didn't want to do, something went terribly wrong. They should feel great about helping someone learn to read. Whenever asking for a major gift, keep in mind the third, fourth, and even the tenth gift. You don't want this one to be the last. So the goal is to inspire your donor, not twist their arm. When a Jedi mind trick is done well, the person doesn't feel tricked at all. If you want to learn even more Jedi tricks to help you raise major gifts, you won't want to miss my seven-week online course, Mastering Major Gifts. During the course, you'll learn to become a Jedi master of major gifts and become a powerful hero for your organization. If you want more videos like this, head on over to amyeisenstein.com. There you can subscribe to my weekly newsletter, and when you do, you'll get instant access to two free eBooks. Like and share. The larger the conversation, the more we all learn.